Okay, so teacher LaShondra here and I'm bringing this video to you because so many people have been asking me, okay, LaShondra, what do you do for savings? How do you save? What, I mean, you work for yourself. What about retirement? What about insurance? What do you do? <laughs> so, um, while I'm not gonna let you guys all the way up in my bank account, I mentioned in some of my live videos that yes, I invest in stocks. I've gotten so many comments. Hey, I would like to start. I don't know where to start. What do I do? Well, you know, right now the economy is not so great. But on another hand, this could be a little spring off board if you do have the, the funds to go ahead and start investing because many stocks have dropped. Now, I am not a financial advisor whatsoever, nor will I ever tell you to go to empty out your bank account or get this stock or invest X amount of money. I'm just telling you what I do, what I do to save, what I do to kind of have me a little nest egg. I'm still laying eggs. I'm laying eggs to invest in my future. So <laughs> I buy stocks that have a high dividend payout. What in the world is she talking about? Okay, those are the stocks that basically you get paid just for holding those stocks. You get a percentage back just for holding those stocks. They're like, thank you for investing in us here's some money and so <laughs> i hold stocks that have the highest possible that i can afford anyways high dividend payout so that me investing money i am not only making money when the value of the stock goes up but i'm getting paid that dividend baby dividend <laughs> Okay, so, um, <laughs> yes, I haven't had lunch yet, okay? I've been teaching. See? See, what does the t-shirt tell you? What does it tell me? What does it say, teacher, well, Chandra? All right, let's continue, shall we? All right, so, I was saying, yes, I invest in high-dividend-paying stocks. Now, I can't go in no detailed explanation as to what is what to what to what ratio to what blah 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 because it's going to sound like well that's exactly what it's going to sound like you're not gonna know even i don't even know but we're not going to go into detail detail but i just want to tell you what i'm doing another thing that i have done i've been doing some research and um Yes, as I walk to the other side of my living room, I notice my son has made a pillow fort. A pillow fort. Yes, he did. All right. So, <laughs> um, I have have I have also invested in crypto currency so i've been investing in crypto cryptocurrency for a couple of years now and you guys i came across some information today that okay so in order for the united states to be able to afford all these handouts so to speak this money that they're giving us you know we like no do not increase taxes don't do it so what they're doing is they are minting like these platinum coins. It's not like they're minting platinum coins that are valued. I think two platinum coins a year that are valued at like, is it $2 trillion each or together? Something like that. And that's, that's the information that I have gathered from the grapevine. I'm sure you can find this as public information. If you did some digging as to what the plans are with the government, you know. It came from somewhere, but they're minting these platinum coins to be able to afford the offset of helping so many Americans, you know, and it's not going that's not even going to cover the whole cost, but it helps alleviate some things. And now the reason why I'm bringing this up 
there instead of you know how they did the mailing out the checks and the um you know direct deposit into accounts now they're thinking of like kind of like you know paying us on cards right you know how you get like a a prepay card with x amount of dollars on it and then they just refill those cards so that there's not those well my bank account and then my my check where is it come on why did they get theirs and i didn't get mine it would be like like push the button dink, and then it goes into the accounts we don't have to worry about postal services being overrun banks being like you know even though the inside of banks, I don't think are even open right now, long lines and drive throughs but we would get, they're thinking, you know, about giving us these cards. Now, I mention all this. I, I mean, as far as all this goes, I'm not even gonna go into like all the governmental plans, but I'm mentioning all this because cryptocurrency is <laughs> like electronic currency, you know? So, like, encrypted currency that is worth some moolah la in some cases, especially Bitcoin. The last I looked, one little Bitcoin was valued at over 7000 It was like 7300 something dollars for one Bitcoin. No, I do not have one. I only have like point something. Point zero 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 something of bitcoin but at least i got a little bit in there <laughs> but so we have cryptocurrency now with the way that things are working and moving and shaking then there could be this little nice little bridge that's formed that combines the united states currency with this international cryptocurrency you see, like, there's this little bridge. Now, there's a lot of things that go into play with this. You know, like, um, biblically, you know, there's things that you can pull for that. And then financially, I'm looking at these numbers. So if you're looking to invest, one of these investors that I follow has said, you know, no one knows for sure. You can't say, this is what's going to happen. But based off of their professional opinion and their research, they're saying, hey, now if you're just buying like just stocks because they're low and you're hoping for a bounce back, it's a gamble. Maybe it'll bounce back, maybe not, because we do know that we're entering a period of recession. How bad is going to be? Don't know. But we're entering a period of recession. So there may be some bounce back. There may be some that just kind of... And it takes years and years and years to see that bounce back. So if you are just looking to just get stocks, like affordable stocks, and stack up on them, that's a gamble. Do your research in the company. Look at the performance rating. Um... Like, scour all information that you can find. That's all I could tell you about that. Um, me, personally, I've already had stocks before all of this. But when all of this happened and I bought more stocks, I personally looked for the ones with the high dividend payout. The people that are giving you a percentage back on the money that you are investing. Like, 6% dividend, 5% four percent dividend i try not to go lower than you know as of late i try not to um you know buy stocks that have lower than a four percent dividend so hey you're gonna have to look out there and see hey what's what because i'm not a financial advisor i can't even tell you on that you just got to do your own digging but this is what i do okay now if you have a gambling problem and controlling money you get too excited it, and it's an issue for you please 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 maybe put your hand in some put your money in the hands of someone you trust tell them what your plans are your goals and let them kind of advise you in that area please do not reenact <laughs> re reactivate i should say do not reactivate any type of gambling problems that you may have hoping that you're going to get rich quick because when you're investing stocks i'm playing the long-term game i told you i'm planning for a retirement some people like the day trade where they're just like okay watch it watch it watch it watch it and sell i don't do that i'm not a gambler 
but I look to invest long term. So I'm 38 now. I want to retire early. I really want to retire early. So I want to retire in my 50s. That's my goal, to retire in my 50s, travel the world, read my books. I'm going to continue writing, read my children's books to children all over the world in all the countries. That is my dream. I want to retire and be able to do that in the next, hey, I'm 38, so less than 20 years. I don't want to wait till my late 50s. I'm talking early 50s. So I have like a 15-year goal here, so I'm hitting it hardcore. So for me, that's my long term. I don't want to touch anything for the next at least 15 years. I want to see that baby grow. So cryptocurrency, stocks, you guys, look into this and Use your own discretion. If you don't have it, you don't have it. But put it on your to-do list. Look into it. Um, educate yourself. Um, learn, learn, learn. Learn the stock market. Learn how to do the trading. One app that I have on my phone, but I haven't used it yet because I know, I don't know. I've heard that it's just really, really high risk. And it's kind of like, it's more of a gamble than any of the other trading or stock type investment apps is Forex. Now, I don't know much about Forex, but I know that people are like, oh, I lost thousands of dollars. That will not be me. The devil is a lie. That shall not. It shall not happen. Uh, and I haven't even registered on that app yet, but I'm going to show you. I saw where you can kind of do like a demo account. So I'm going to register a demo account and show you what that looks like. In the meantime, I'm going to give you guys like a quick snapshot of my portfolio. Like little snapshot like some things that i have watching some things that i have shares in and you know maybe not everything i what am i in the mood for what let me let me just show you a little something something okay <laughs> all right so this is an example of something that i love about stash stash has where you have like a bank card. It, they use service, their bank ser banking services through Green Dot. So, you know, the little Green Dot prepay, whatever cards. They have a banking card that's through the Green Dot service. And so you can actually put money in your stash account. You can even get your check direct deposited into your stash bank account. <laughs> and you can use your card to make purchases. And if you use your card at certain places, you actually earn stock back. You earn stock from using your card at those places. That's a, that is another feature I absolutely love, 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 love about Stash. So not only is Stash like a really good beginner um, app to use, but they have so many, just so many things that you can benefit from just by using it. The only downside is with Stash, yes, you do have to pay a monthly fee. So for me, I pay $3 a month. So that's my fee. So it's kind of like, you know how some banks have like a banking fee that you have to pay. It's kind of like that where there's a fee. So it's a $1 plan, a $3 plan. Like the $1 is just to be able to buy and sell stock. That's just $1 a month that you pay to be able to do that. And then the $3 plan is not only just buying and selling stock for in a personal account, but they also have it offered to where you have a Roth IRA or, yeah, I think there's different, what well, a retirement account. Mine's is a Roth account, a Roth retirement account. So if you want a Roth account, a retirement account, and a personal account, and you want to have stocks in both of those accounts, then it's $3 a month. So that's what I do because, you know, I told you guys I'm in it for the long term. So here what you're looking at right now. I got this notice today saying, hey, for the month of May, if I go to, you know, use my stash card, I am a stash card holder. If I use my stash card now, keep in mind, it is not a credit card. You put money into your account and you they actually even give you a routing number and a bank account number as well. So you put number into your stash account which is all through the app. So it's like a banking account as well as, you know, stocks and, you know, trading and all that stuff and retirement. It's really cool. So if you use your card at CVS, you get a 2% stock back bonus. And then they have other places too. So you see at the top how it has Netflix 
Spotify, Disney, Hulu. So if you pay your bill, basically, if you pay your bill using your stash card at those places, you know, Netflix, Hulu, Disney Plus, which I do have. So that would be interesting. I think I'm going to maybe for the month of May, switch my payment information over to my stash account card and just so I can get some stock free stock you know it's free stock money just for me using my card so here we go all right so these are some categories for investing so you know how i said i'm going to show you guys what the dividend thing is all you do you guys you just go in i just went into one of the little categories they have it broken down by categories if you're not sure what you want to look for you're like oh let's see these are some stop stock options that were newly added to stash i'm going to go and mm, what is something that jumps out to you marathon oil corporation is down 63 and a half percent what is this all right so this is super cheap stock but then don't just look at oh it's cheap stock i'm gonna get it all right, let's see, do they pay dividend? Okay, 3.42% dividend. Now, if you're wondering, what is dividend? So, some investments pay you profits or interest as you hold them. These payments are called dividends, and this value represents the dollar value as a percentage of the investment's share price. All right. So, 3.42% of each share is what the what they would pay in dividend to you. And most of these companies pay dividends quarterly. There are some that pay them yearly. And so I look at that 3.42% is not really that great in my opinion. I look for 4% and up. But it's not bad either because some companies offer 0% dividend. Like Facebook is one of them. Facebook does not offer you any dividend whatsoever to buy stock. Nothing. They're, they're not going to pay you for holding stock. So let's look at this Marathon Oil Corporation. In the last one month, it started at 3.65, well, $3.65. And now it's at, well, then it was at 6.12. But right now, it's what, $5.66? Now, I was looking at a year's time, okay? In a year's time, it was at $15.52 May of last year. And you can kind of look at the pattern. I follow it here. I, love, I like to look at these patterns. And then you see there is like a drop. Really, the drop started happening. The drastic drop. COVID-19. Then drop drop and then it dropped really low where is it at try to get that really low point it dropped really low in what the beginning of april beginning of april end of march and now it's going back up again so i look at these patterns let's look five years i look at what this stock is capable of okay five years ago 2015 that's what it was and going along the years and there was a big drop 2016 going along going along going along going along you just drag your finger kind of look at the pattern okay it went up to 2018 it was up in the 20s okay so it got back up in the 20s 2018 then drop drop towards the end of the year 2019 so in the teens Drop down, summertime, mm, and then teens, teens, and then it, whew, COVID-19. So that's the oil corporation. You're wondering, what is this? What is Marathon Oil Corp? You can learn more about the company in the about section. It'll tell you what it is. Anything you have a question about, you can even go to the website, View Fund website. Go to their website and then it'll, you can read more about the company. You guys, this they've made it so much easier for the everyday person to be able to buy, sell, you know, whatever. Buy, sell, trade, invest. 
whatever, whichever of those verbs you're looking for, they've made it easier for the everyday person to do just that. Energy. So then they have some companies in energy. Now, I actually have stock here. I do have some stock here in Philip 66. Dividend is $4.90. And it shows, I mean, not $4, 4.90%. And look. I looked at the five year. I was like, okay, okay. And then it got up, it got kind of up there in 20, 2018, 2019, got up there. Then it dropped down. So the last two years haven't been so bad. 2018, 2019 haven't been so bad. And then there was a drastic drop. And then look, in a month's time, started at 50 something. And then it went up, 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 up to the 70s. In a week's time, you can see it started at 58 in a week. And then that's how it was in a week. 10 years time. Let's track it for the last 10 years. 2012, that's what it was. And then looking at the time. You can do that and decide, is this something that I want to invest in? Do I see a possibility in growth? Now, you do have to take into consideration that right now, times are a little tricky because of, you know, the recession and whatnot. Times are a little bit trickier. Look, this dividend yield is low. So I, I, for me, that's just not what I want. Now, I have stock here. I ha actually got free stock through one of my apps. And I've never even heard of this company. But I've had got, I got free stock here. And I was like, whoa, look at this dividend yield. 11.08%. Now, yes, these things can change. They could change. 11% dividend, that is awesome. I mean, the price of it is super cheap. So <laughs> it's not like they're going to be paying you a whole lot. But based off of the price per share, that's a, a pretty good chunk per share. You know, that's more than tithes and offering. You only pay 10% tithes and offering, they're going to give you 11. A little bit over 11. So if you're going looking at it over a month's time, it's kind of been all over the place. And this time last year, roughly, it was about double what it is now. So these are small numbers, but if you look at double, so if I bought, you know, say I spent $8 worth of shares and then my money doubled, then I just made 16. If I spent, if I bought, $100 worth of shares and then it doubled then I have 200 so I look at it that way too and then you're getting dividend off of each share on top of that so you know it's like when your bank gives you interest for your money sitting in the bank it's the same thing where you're getting it's almost like you're getting interest on your money just for investing but they call it dividend yield again they pay you profits or interest as you hold them. So, yeah. Think, I mean, it's the same concept. So when you think about it, yeah, the numbers are small. And this was a free stock I got. I didn't even pay for this. You know, sometimes these apps give you free stock for referring people. They give you free stock, like the Stash app gives you free stock for using your card. And you're probably wondering, what is Banco Santander? What is that? Because I sure did. Then you go to the About Me, the, well, the About section. It tells you all about the company. And I, because I had to look it up, I was like, okay, they gave me free stock. And this is incredibly low stock. Should I invest any more into it? And then I read and I was like, oh, okay. And so, look, just to be, you know, just if you're curious, let's look at Facebook. You can even type in stock that you're wondering about. Facebook, look. $200.46. That's the stock for Facebook right now. That's per stock. And look, a year ago, it was around this time, it was 195 It had got, went up, went up, went up to what the high point was about 222 
And then look, five years ago, it was $82 and bloop, 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 bloop. You could just kind of follow it along. So anyone who invested five years ago, they're making money. If they're just sitting on it and they're not selling however many shares they bought, they're making money. So if they spent like $50, then their money has quadrupled itself. So so if they spent, so let's see, let's say they said, okay, I'm going to invest $50. And then that $50 would quadruple. So then they got $200, right? So look at it that way. Just do the math. Do the math. Look, people who bought it 10 years ago, those people that bought it 10 years ago, they saw something in Facebook and they sat on it. They paid like $20, $30. Oh, it even got as low as $18. You saw that? $18 a share. And they said, you know what? I'm going to buy a whole bunch of shares. Say they bought 100 shares. 100 shares at $18. And then look. Money. Money. <laughs> money i mean wow oh so yeah so if you get in on these shares at a really good time at a really good time and you're in for the long-term game you can really make some money you can really make some money so just go in and play around on the app play around on it say you don't want to do the three dollars you just like okay i just want to see what this is about right and what, here, I haven't even told you the best, best part of Stash, okay? Now, this video is not sponsored by Stash in any way, shape, or form. I will be leaving my link, though. I, you know, I, I love free money. I like free stuff. So, I'm going to leave my link. And I, when you use my link, then I think we both get free stuff. I get free stuff. I think you get free stuff. So, Stash allows you, let me show you. Scientific Games Corporation. What is this? All right. This is affordable. It's $11.09. No dividend. There we go. There is one that doesn't pay any dividend whatsoever. They're not going to pay you anything for holding anything. You either get it or you don't get it. So this, unless if this is like something that I'm like, I'm, I think that this has big potential. I wouldn't invest in this. But looking at, if you look at, the pattern here you might see that this might be worth your time to invest in oh man i wish i would have saw this when it was like four dollars i probably would have jumped on it then at four dollars because right now i would have already more than doubled my money if i got the four dollars per share oh my gosh so but look there in a year's time they've been down 45 percent, a little over 45 percent but if you wanted to buy it, say you say buy, you just click on the little buy. Now, I have both accounts. So I can choose which one I want to go. So say I'm going to say personal. Now, with this particular app, you don't have to buy whole stocks. So even though the amount was like $11, what was it, $11 and some change, if I wanted to just spend $5, I can say, I'm going to buy $5 worth of stock. I'm just going to do $5. You know, and you can do that. You can do that at $5. So just for the purpose of this, I'm going to buy one. I'm going to buy one. I'm going to do it in my personal. And I'm going to say $12. All right, and you can even choose, okay, do you want to set this up to where this is reoccurring? No, I don't. So I'm not going to have a set schedule where I'm, re you can re you can have reoccurring, you know, uh, what is it called? Um, reoccurring purchases, basically, where you are buying, say you like, okay, every week I want to put five more dollars in, but no, I don't want to do that. So we're going to do skip. So then it tells you, hey. 
I now have this. Awesome, LaShondra, your purchase is scheduled for May 1st. So I'm gonna show you, just for the sake of showing you, let's see, um, what should we do? Let's do tech. Should we do tech? Let's go into tech. MasterCard is up, Square is down, but I'm not gonna invest in Square. I want to invest in a different one. Uh, what is Slack? What is that? Beep, boop, boop. <laughs> Meet Slack bot, your helpful guide to Slack. Okay, so you can read about it, see what it is. Let's see, do they have dividend? Zero, okay, no dividends. I'm looking for something with some awesome dividends, you guys. That, let's do real estate. Something that has a high number. Ah, dividend yield is 12.21%. Woohoo! I'm gonna jump into this one. Let's see, let's look at the history here. Wow, look at that. It was way up there, way up there, way up there. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And then that drop, COVID-19. <laughs> like Simon Property Group. I know our mall, our mall here is owned by Simon Property Group. So I'm going to jump into that. So for the purpose of this video, let's say, okay, they say it's $62.15, $62.15. $62 I'm going to buy. And I'm like, you know... Let's put this, I'm going to put this in my retirement account. Okay. So I'm going to add this to my retirement portfolio simply because I love the dividend. And so I want it to keep growing. And I might be something that I just found something that maybe I might contribute to a little bit more because the dividend is so high. They're going to pay me interest just for holding stocks here. So I'm not going to pay a whole 62. Say I'm like, oh, I'm just going to get $20. And look, even though I didn't buy a hold one, a whole percentage, I, well, a whole share, I now own a part of that share. So I don't have a full share, but I still have like a zero point, you know, percentage of the share. So about a third. So I have about, I own a third, about approximately a third of a share. So it still counts. It still counts. Stash lets you do that. So, all right, I've just did, done a lot of talking about Stash and how you guys can do that. It seems really easy, right? If you do it smart, you can really make some money. Now, I'm going to reiterate, if you have a gambling problem, give your money to somebody you trust and let them help you. Let them help you. Don't try to do it all your, on your own, knowing that you have a gambling problem problem because it could be addictive you could you know just start just putting just pumping money pumping money you never want to be in a state where you have all of your money in stocks tied up in stocks and then when you start losing then you're having a heart attack I mean nobody wants to lose money anyway so even if I only lost a hundred dollars I'm gonna have a heart attack but you know what I mean you don't want to like you know hey I'm gonna get rich quick so I'm gonna take out you know alone and put it in the stock market and then it crashes now you're out of your money nothing to show for it and you still got to pay that loan back you see what i mean so use money that i'm not gonna say like throw away money but use money that you can afford to invest so maybe if you were going to put it in a traditional savings account take a portion of the money that you were going to put into your traditional savings account um some people say take all of it. You just put all your savings into stocks. I'm not going to say that because I'm not a gambler, okay? <laughs> but take a portion of that, whatever portion you're comfortable with, go through, take your time, read up on companies, look at the trend, and I'm, I'm going to say pray about it, pray about it, and then put your money where you feel it's going to grow and, you know, you know how you're going to safely get a return, the biggest bang for your buck. I do this for the long term. I'm a long term investor. Some people do it for day trading. They jump in there and they get it low. They watch it for a week or two and then they're like, oh, it spiked. Sell, sell, sell. So they want to make, you know, a quick, you know, a quick buck. I don't do it for that. I don't do day trading. 
I don't have the time or the energy to do it. And I'm in the back of my mind, I always have that what if. What if I sell too soon and I could have made more? And then, you know, what if I don't sell soon enough? So I just, you know, I just have it mentally set in my mind. I'm in it for the long term. I'm in it for the long term. Like as I get more financially stable, as far as like, it's just, I just have such crazy growth and everything is just like, wow, (laughs) I'm almost there to my retirement goal. Then I might, okay, dibble and dabble more into some day trading because I can afford to do so and it won't be such a blow and I will, you know, be willing to take such risk. But the key word there is risk. Okay. Risk. You have to assess your risk. So none of this is a 100% promise. That's why in the movies you see like people going crazy over stocks and they're like, sell, sell, because it's not a 100% promise. So you just have to do it the smart way. And like I say, pray about it. So let's go to the next app. I gave you the most time in Stash because it's the perfect app for beginners. The other apps are a little more, a little more progressive, a little more confusing, but still good apps to be a part of, good apps to watch and kind of, you know, really get to know how to read those graphs and charts. So let's get to it. Okay, so yeah, so I'm waiting in line for my Robinhood bank card as well, just so I have it. Cause I, can, I figure I can load it with money, right? I can load the card with money and then be able to use it because the card will already be connected to my, you know, my market account. So if I have card money on the card, I can still use my card to at, you know, different places when I'm shopping and I can use it for investing because some of the apps don't have all the stock functions available, which is why I diversify and I have different apps. Some apps don't have all stocks. So then this app has some stocks that Stash doesn't have. So the bad part is that um, with Robinhood, they don't allow you to buy like a piece of a stock at a time. Now, if you're looking to invest into cryptocurrency, yes, you don't have to wait until you have enough to buy a full coin before you can invest. You can get a little by little of cryptocurrency, but actual stocks, you have to have the full amount to be able to purchase that share. And right now, this is what my portfolio is looking like. 77% of my investments are in stocks in this app, and 23% of my investment is in cryptocurrency. And it kind of, you know, kind of breaks it down for you as to you know, what is looking like in the different market areas for me. Now, I can't really show you so much about Robinhood because then it's going to get you all up in my personal business seeing all of my like actual account information. <laughs> so let's see if I can find some charts that you can look at. Okay, so here's a page where it says browse. You can actually go and browse. It's like, okay, top movers. Hmm, I'm interested in these. So you can go through and look. Be like, okay. Helix Energy. So it tells you that Helix is at $2.18. And they actually had a decline today. And you're like, okay, that was today. Let's look at in a week's time. So it's like... Okay, in a week, it started at 155 and it went up in a week's time. Let's look at a month's time. Oops. So in a month, it was like one something. Do, 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 do. So there's some improvement there. Let's look at a three months time. All right. Three months time, it was $8 and so. And then it started to really drastically go down in February. And now it's starting to make a slow climb again. Let's see. In a year's time, about the same. About this time last year, it's about seven, eight dollars. Pretty that held that pretty steady. Nothing drastic until COVID nineteen. Let's look at five years time. Okay, so it looks like in the highest point was towards you know five years ago. I mean, uh, yeah, five years ago, twenty fifteen. 
Mm. And then since it had dropped, so anyone who bought it then, they were that was a loss for them because it never got that high again. It's been really kind of holding steady between, it got up to 10. Mm, yeah, 11 something. Kind of really holding steady in that little small window of a range. So it really allows you to take a look at these patterns, how these patterns look, and decide if that's something that you want to invest in. And then they even have, they even have suggestions here. So analyst ratings, 50% say there's it's going leaning towards buy it, 44% you know if, is to hold it, and then no one's saying sell it. Everyone's saying don't sell this right now. Do not sell it. So buy it or hold it. That's what they're saying. If you have it, keep it, just hold on to it. And they're saying, okay, this is worth a buy. Now, Robin Hood is a little harder for me to read. That's why I say it's not so user-friendly. Like, it's not really complicated, but it's not as user-friendly as Stash, which is what I, I started off on. And so as far as dividends, a lot of times if I'm like, okay, where is the dividend on this thing? Where? Oh, dividend yield. Here it is. I see it under stats. No dividend whatsoever. So they do not pay you dividends. So if you're in it for to get the dividend profit, this will not be a good stock for you. So you can kind of look at that. Then look, 100 most popular. Cannabis. Let's look at cannabis. Okay. So let's look. We have canopy grows. So right now it's at fourteen ninety eight. In a week's time, let's look at in a week. Started off at sixteen and it's dropped drastically. See in a month's time. My sister told me that people. My sister and my aunt told me that people are saying they're going to get their stimulus check and. <laughs> um. I guess stimulate this um, cannabis market. So this is a month time. Let's go. Oops. Okay, you gotta like hold your finger on the screen. Two, three months time. Twenty two. Okay, nothing too drastic. A year's time. All right, there we go. Forty. It was in. 48, 49. Yeah, look at those numbers. Those ah, the, the number direction you don't want to see. But, you know, you see potential there. Because this time last year, it was like three times what it is now. And so there's really wasn't any data here because the cannabis market didn't really open up until right about here. All right. So, and then no dividend yield. So it's pretty, almost half and half. Either buy it or hold it. But nobody's selling this. They want to see what's going to happen. Buy it or hold it. So this would be something interesting to buy. I might come back and make a make a purchase here so let's say i do i'm gonna show you well let's let's look at some more chronos group and like i said if you're not sure what things are then let's see right now we know that it's 558 let's look at a year ago about five about three times what it is now a year ago five years ago okay so the data starts 2018 yeah, all this has to do with cannabis, so 2018 is when it started. And nothing too drastic here. And let's see, did they have a dividend? No. So some people are selling it. Most people are saying hold it. Not many people are buying it. They're just saying hold on to it. Mm. Organi Graham. Let's see, it's $1.49 per share. Let's look at a year from now. Okay, all right. 
it was seven fifteen. But then it's had like a a steady decline. Not much of it. It's like a steady downward heel. So I don't like that. Like that has nothing to do with coronavirus. This time last year, it just steadily went down. Let's do five years. All right, so they have data from 2015. When somebody bought it for like 40 cents. All right, so if you bought it for 40 cents, you're doing pretty good. Like now you're not, but... <laughs> You know, like the the beginning of the, you know, this time last year probably would have been a great time to sell if you were going to sell that. People are buying it. No one's selling it. I wouldn't sell it either. Don't sell that. It's too low. People are buying it to see what happens. So a lot of people are saying, buy, buy, buy. That's what a lot of people are doing. A lot of people are buying it. So let's see, did it have a dividend yield? Did I pass it? Where is it? No dividend yield. So, you guys, I can do this all day. This is fun for me to just go in here. Now, let's say Organigram. Right now, it's, it's pretty low. Let's say I wanted to buy two shares. Now, I don't have any money on saved into this app. Oops, not 30 number of shares let's say okay let's say i'm gonna buy three shares so look you see how it's different instead of me saying oh, i'm gonna do three dollars worth i can do i'm gonna just say three shares they have you like what how are you going to what are you trying to do are you trying to do a market order limit order and they tell you the different ones they tell you the different ones now right now I have to buy whole shares. I can't buy portional shares. But you see here, you see how I'm on the list? See at the bottom, you're on the list with 2,640,876 others to be able to buy fractional shares. There are more than 2 million people that are waiting on Robinhood to be able to buy fractional shares. Stash already offers it where you can buy fractional shares. Robinhood, I'm on a list with almost 3 million people to be able to do it, which is why if I'm not buying whole shares, I just go to stash. But let's say I'm going to buy three shares. They're really cheap. So, okay, three shares. Not enough buying power. What? I would need $4.68. So, since I have my bank account linked, I can just make a deposit. Now, it's not going to go through like right, right away. It takes like three days. And with it being Friday, it's not going to settle until like, and it, that's three business days. Look, we've initiated your deposit of $4.68. It may take up to five days to be deducted from your account because today is Friday. So I just have to make sure I keep the $4.68 into my account. Yay. And see, I actually am paying on this app. This is this app. You don't have to pay to trade, but if you want instant access to where if you're trading and you know doing it during day hours, then they'll go ahead and be like, "All right, you're good for it." And then they'll let me do it up to, you know, a certain dollar. All right. So now this is some cryptocurrency that i've been watching so if i wanted to show all i can show all look at all this cryptocurrency here they offer bitcoin ethereum bitcoin cash litecoin dodge coin doge doji i don't think that's dodge i think dogecoin i don't know what that is ethereum classic and bitcoin sv these are the options for which you can choose to invest and then these are watch only the one that say watch only you're not able to see look I can watch it and see how it's going, but I'm not able to buy it. They don't offer it to where I can buy those coins here. But you could kind of watch and see what the pattern is. Now, these up here, I can actually purchase. Bitcoin, this is what I was telling you. One little coin is worth this much. Now, look. You, you guys, when I saw this, I was like, oh, my gosh. People that invested five years ago and was like, you know what? I'm going to get into cryptocurrency just five years ago. And they invested, say they bought um, $239 
is one coin, right? So they were like, I'm going to get two coins. So let's just say 500. We're going to round up. I'm going to put $500 on two coins, two whole coins. Now look, throw up central. Look at this. If they bought two coins by 2017, in two years, each coin was over $15,000. So they spent 500 right, in two coins. And say they were like, I'm going to sell these coins. I'm going to sell them. I'm going to sell them. In 2017, where is that sweep? Oh, wow. I saw a 19. Oh, if they waited right here, December of 2017, each coin, each one coin was worth $19,260. They bought two coins, two whole coins, you guys. So if they decided, I'm going to sell my coins, they just made 19,000 times two. Ka ching ka ching 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 okay they just made over <laughs> over $38,000 from 500 from a $500 investment you see what i mean oh my gosh now then you know they probably had a heart attack when they didn't if they didn't sell and was like i'm it's going to go up it's going to go up it has dropped and it hasn't been that high since 2017 now it hey it could still get that high for so for those people that are like me that look for the long term now when i got here i don't know i don't know like i probably would have sold i probably would have sold them and then waited a couple of days praying i okay correction i would have prayed i would have prayed really hard lord jesus help me what do i do <laughs> and then maybe wait a couple of days and use my thirty eight thousand dollars and go okay here we go maybe i'm going to invest in it again Let's wait and see if it's going to get, it's dropping, dropping, dropping. I see, okay. Thank you, Lord, for your wisdom. It's dropping, 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 dropping. And then I see, all right, it's getting pretty low. And I saw I got, to, I saw a two. Didn't I see a two? I saw a two somewhere. It got really low and say, I'm like, all right, I'm going to, it's getting really low. I'm going to go ahead and invest again. Let me get two coins. And so I'm like, all right, I'm going to get two coins and pay this much. I just made 38. I'm going to invest, you know, what, what seven, four, let's say, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and invest $8,000 of that 38. So I got 30,000. I'm going to invest 8,000 and get two more coins. Look, look, you guys, this is what I'm talking about. Now, is it a gamble? Yes, it is. Be careful, you guys. Don't get caught up, but that I mean, if somebody started that five years ago, that's how people have gotten rich off of this cryptocurrency. Like that's crazy money. Stocks can do that too, but I just recently got into cryptocurrency like two years ago. I wish I was in the game five years ago, you guys. I really do. But you know, actually, the Lord knew what He was doing five years ago. I wouldn't have even had the money to do it. But I wish I knew about it five years ago. I probably would have worked a little harder to get into it. But look, so just keeping an eye out. Now, let, let's say I'm like, okay, Ethereum. I'm going to look at one year. Uh, let's see, in a year. Wow. No, five years. It was $1 and some change. And then look. Look at this. If somebody invested a measly two. Look, it was some cents. Do you see that? You know what? Five years ago, I'm going to put $100 into here. Let's see what happens. So $100. Look at this. Look. 100 times that. You just made $100,000. You just made $100,000. That's just sick. You see what I mean? That's just, that is just so sick. Now look, now it's down to, what are we at? 
211. 211. So let's see when's the last time it's been high. Let's look. Last three months. Hmm. Not so great. Not so great. And then it dropped down to what? What was the lowest here? What was that low end? 108. It's probably the lowest it was. In the last three months. Let's do like a year. Hmm. Compared to now, nothing too drastic. But that five-year mark, you guys, people that got in the game five years ago, like, oh my gosh. Coulda, shoulda, woulda, right? But that's the, that's the lowdown of cryptocurrency. You got to really, like, I am not an investor. I can't give you any more advice other than what I'm doing. Go into Google, type in these coin names, Bitcoin, type that in, read about it. They even have, look, news articles, and they keep it pretty recent, news articles. And you can read about it, read about it, research, read about it in your break. You know, if you're at work and you're on break, read about it in your free time, educate yourself. And then look, they tell you, you making, you know, this thing shakes and moves. And now if you don't know what cryptocurrency is, Google cryptocurrency, Google Bitcoin, educate yourself on what this stuff is and decide, you know, what you want to invest. So say I'm like, you know what, I'm going to buy some Bitcoin. I'm going to go in here. And I'm going to buy some Bitcoin. You guys already know, I don't have like money sitting into this account. So, and I don't have $8,791 to invest in Bitcoin, but I want to buy a, you know, a piece of it. So if I want to get in on the action and buy a piece of it, I can just say, instead of, you know, shares, you had to write, you had to type in how many shares you want. I can just say how much money I want to invest into Bitcoin. I can just do it how much money I want. So look, Litecoin. Litecoin was, look, just five years ago, 381. Look, if they sold, where is that sweet spot? There, look, 231. Like up in that area. Oh my gosh. They were like, sell, sell, sell. That was 2018. So 2018 was like the year. I think that's when that's when I got into it because I think that's when like people were like becoming millionaires from cryptocurrency and I was like what is cryptocurrency? That's when I started educating myself about cryptocurrency because all these people turning up to be millionaires because they got into it in 2015 and then come 2018 people are rich. Like, oh wow, I did I invested this much and now I'm a multimillionaire. I'm like, what? You put a thousand dollars in these things, like a thousand here, a thousand there, just hoping something will happen. And now they're retired millionaires. That's when I got really into it. And look, it really hasn't been that high since 2018. 2018 was the sweet year. 2018, 2017 was those were the years of excitement. But it's still something that I'm interested in. I still want to see where this goes, because as, as technology goes, I think that there's still promise in it. So. Just go through and look at the patterns and educate yourself and see what do you want to invest in. So that's Robin Hood, you guys. Now we have Weeble. Weeble is like the Big Daddy Mac. <laughs> and this is probably more closer to what like professional day traders look at. I don't understand all this, but I know a declining line versus an incline. I know that. I know how to read a bar graph. I know that. Now, you just have to really play around and get used to how everything is laid out and just really just play around. Now, Weeble is another app that is free. It's There's no cost to have a Weeble trading account. No cost whatsoever. And what you do is use someone's link that's where the gold is 
So say you use my link. If you use my link, I get two free stocks, you guys. You get two free stocks. It's the same with Robinhood. I'm telling you, free stuff. One person, um, one person not using my link, but one person that used somebody's link and was ranting and raving that they got a whole entire free stock of Facebook. A whole free Facebook stock. Free. Then you have to pay for it. And you saw how much Facebook is. They got a free stock in Facebook. So if you use my link, you get two free stocks to get you started off. And now that stock will value anywhere up to, uh, I don't know. I think it's like a stock valued anywhere from like a dollar or two all the way up to a thousand. Uh, something like that. But you, you have the ability to get one of those like you can win the lottery and get one of them high end stocks that are yours so you just play around on it you guys use my link hold on sweetheart use my link and deposit $100 and just get into Weeble deposit $100 and get you some current crypto get you some stock whatever spread it out put it all in one you know whatever play around in it and if you do that I think you have like 24 hours to use the link and then deposit your $100. You have, I think, it's a, it's a small window. So do it when you're ready. If you're in the United States of America, some people may have gotten, you know, some stimulus money to where they may have some extra money laying around. Maybe not. Some people, it barely met their needs, if at all. Whereas some people was like, oh, okay, well, like a lot of us that are teaching online, it was something that we could, okay, we, it helps us pay the bills and we can stash a little bit of, away for a rainy day. So thank you that we have this extra money during these uncertain times to where we have that little cushion. Not much of a cushion, but a little bit of a cushion. Now, if you're in that position where you have a little bit of money to not necessarily play with, but to invest, take a 100 of that, put it in Weeble. Get your two free stocks. Hey, it could be worth some stuff. Like I told you, the one free one I got was that sand one, which pays me 11% dividend. And I was like, that's pretty cool. I'm going to get some more of that. You could get one with really high dividend or just a stock that's worth a really good value. So Weeble is another good one, but that's for the Big Daddy Max. <laughs> but hey, I'm in it. So I'm Baby Mama Mac and I'm in it. I, well, I didn't even say that right. Not baby mama as in baby mama. Oh my gosh. I hate it the way that just sounded. Delete, delete, delete. But I said big daddy and I said baby, you know, okay, uh -huh. you get it. But yes, I'm a baby at this in the whole scheme of things and I can figure it out. So I know you can figure it out. So this is a good look at Weeble and how that goes. You can even look at the, the stock market. This really makes you feel like you're doing something. Imagine being at your, you know, getting some coffee and you're like, I got to check the stocks real quick. Let's see. Oh, let's look at NASDAQ, shall we? Mm hmm. What shall I buy today? Mm hmm. And then you might just drop your phone because you see something super affordable that you've had your eye on. They have watch lists. So this is, these are some things that are on my watch list. So I hope this helped you. This was a really long video, but I really wanted you to understand the world of investing and what I do. All right. You want to tell them TTFN? As always, what do we say? TTFN. <laughs>